So, we are gonna be playing Withering Waves. A lot of the people have been talking about this game, and they say this is the real Genshin killer. And I'm down for it. I've been watching a lot of videos that they have uploaded on their YouTube channel. So if you're interested, you should probably watch those later on. But in this video, we should be able to showcase what kind of game this is, and what kind of graphics they have, and whether if it's worth playing or not. We already watched the trailer. So I know that both of the characters are really, really good looking. So I'll go with the female because I want one extra female character. Oh, this is the normal isekai scene that we see everywhere, right? No voice actor. Yeah, this is uh, CBT2. The graphics already looks really, really good, to be honest. Do we have a skip button? We do not have skip buttons here. So you know what I'm really amazed about? I could be wrong, but there are multiple artists that are into this project. Because the way Chixia and the MC and this character right here, right? They look like they have different art styles. But in terms of like the game itself, it looks like they're all dissolved. Hold W and left shift or right click to sprint. Okay, so moving around, sprinting. Stand beside the walls and hold W and left shift to start wall dashing. How do we do that? What the f- <laughs> Hey yo, did you see that? We can run on walls! That's really nice! Wow! Tap E to resonate skill. Okay, straightforward. Okay, what do we have in the settings? Um, graphics quality, advanced, frame rate. <gasps> we have 120 frame per second! It's a lot smoother than I thought. It could be a placebo if it doesn't work, but it looks so much smoother. Whoa, even the, even the monsters looks really buffed. Ult! Switch to party members with glowing icons release powerful outro skill, not intro skill. Oh. Huh. They have to be shining and shit. Okay. So far, the game looks promising. I would really appreciate PvP, but also at the same time, they're gonna have to have a lot of headache dealing with those like character balancing and stuff for the sake of the game company i don't want pvp but if there's gonna be a pvp in this game then i would really 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 be happy to compete with other people okay small resonance beacon is that like a teleport waypoint oh it seems like it yes nice okay we can farm those ores with daggers as well I wonder, if I use a different weapon, does that change? This floating weapon thing. Hold W to move to cliff edge. What? Glide? <laughs> ah, monsters. Whoa. What's up, fuckers? Okay, we fight. I like that confidence look. Okay, let's go. We're gonna beat the shit out of this motherfucker. Wait, no, 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 no. We use the main character. Hmm? What is that? Extreme vision? What the hell? I'm good at this game. Ow. I wonder if that was from my skill or what? Alright. Whoa! Wing! Oh my god! Hell yeah, man! Oh, we fight again. 
counter attack? What is a counter attack? So we can just keep on attacking for counter attacks? What the? What is this fighting style? Let's see her ultimate. Wow! She's like Venti. What's F? Oh, soy. She, he's down! He's down! Die! Oh, he's down. He's down. Finish! This is... I feel like I'm playing Elden Ring. It's like Soul kind of game. Oh my god, this game has so much potential. Everyone is gonna love this game. There's like... Parry, I don't know how that works. Because I never played like... So game too much. Usually it works like you block at the perfect timing and then you attack. But this game, you can parry with your attack. Like that's super, super cool. Basically, this game is going to be like a soul game for beginners. Plus, you will learn how to dodge. Whoa. Did you see the appearance of this monster? Imagine we play this game with four characters. No. Oh. Now they're an echo. Oh. Okay. We just did that. Equip echoes to enhance your resonators. So we kill monsters so that we can use them as an equipment. Or is this like an artifact? Summon detonation to cause spectral damage. That's an echo ability. How do we do that? Oh. Echo. They have the echo skill now. Wow. Their equipment have echo skills. <laughs> this game has won my heart. Did you guys notice that uh, our female MC boot physics is different than the others? Because we have two pairs because of the dress. Compared to other characters, they have one clothes, right? Okay, we have Chixia now, and we've got some quests to do. Let's continue on with the quest and see how it goes. Those are the waypoints, by the way, and then we're getting union levels. I like the little blur effect when we sprint. It looks a little awkward from behind for some reason, but from the side, it looks perfect, right? Okay, I don't know what we're supposed to do, but I want to explore this part and open this. Oh, okay. This is probably the domains. What is this? Oh, there's a nexus too. Two nexuses. Oh, let's fight. Because why not? What is this character? Oh, we have a gunner. Oh, we can dodge with our... The skills. Oh, they're quite tanky. Venti. She's a Ventiti. Nice. This echoes mine now. And what's this? Title Heritage. What was that? Is that supposed to be like a chest? Can we see the hint of the Nexus somehow? Okay. I see it. But the, the hint is kind of low. Let's fight this. Ooh. Golem. We will try to understand those battle mechanics later on because like we don't need to understand everything right now. We don't need to min-max anything. We just need to just enjoy the game, right? Mm. 96 damage. She's so flashy, I like that. I don't exactly like how she looks in the face. Like, the random freckles are fine, but she has three dots. Is that supposed to be like a makeup? Or what? <laughs> what is this? Is this game coming in 2024? Uh, hopefully. 
we have to wait for cbt3 though because usually game goes through three cbts before their release try a new echo echo summon a uh, virid blaze saurian to uh continuously spit fire causing fusion damage oh wait this thing heals so any character can be a healer okay i'm gonna try this um can we have more than one echoes what happens if that's the case ah so we can only summon one and then the ones that we apply afterwards only gives a sonata effect heal oh that thing collects things for me what the fuck we have Nahida! <laughs> I think we can say this game is gonna be a Genshin killer. <laughs> 100%. I honestly don't know what to say. This is a really nice experience. This feels like Genshin Impact plus Tower Fantasy, but they only mix the good things around. Tower Fantasy is a little broken when you move around. You know what I'm talking about if you play that game. But the battle system is not Genshin Impact. It's more closer to like like Honkai Impact kind of stuff. Like where they have a special effect when you dodge at the right timing. Convene. Resonate with various resonators and weapons through com summons. Let's go. Is it this? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Right now, we can summon for this husbando called Jian. Uh, a tall shell. <laughs> okay, but I like Jian Shin more than this husbando, okay? I prefer Booba over a cock. Okay, and we also get the thingy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, every 50 summons, you get a 5-star resonate. Guaranteed. Okay, okay. And we also have a weapon system. All right, cool. Oh, Skyward. <laughs> Let's take a look at the rules here. Um, every 10 summons, you are guaranteed to get at least one 4-star item or one chosen 5-star weapon for every 10. I don't know what that means. So it's either 4-star or 5-star, they say, right? You can select one of the 5-stars for uh, the rate up. Every time a 5-star weapon is obtained, it is guaranteed to be the chosen 5-star weapon. Oh, we can select... The ones that we want. Depending on what 5-star we get, we can choose the one we want for the weapon as well. That's a massive dub! Massive dub! 5-star weapon drop rate is 0 0.8. Okay. And uh, one 5-star weapon from every 80. Can we take a look at this one? Maybe it has 50-50. 50%. Alright, there's a 50-50. So same as Genshin Impact. Okay. Alright. But... I don't care about this husbandos. I want this. This. Okay, hold. We were looking for a yellow light, right? Any four star. Four star Motic. Ah. We just got her consolation. Let's go, I guess. All right, guys. My overall thought about this game is that it's not yet well polished. But then again, at the same time, it's well polished. Okay? The reflections seem to be a little off. The little camera shake when you're in battle here and there. But like us being able to parry the attacks with our attack or the perfect dots here and there is something that I was looking for. I want something that is a little sweaty. Genshin Impact felt like uh, swapping to a different character and just use skills and swap out kind of thing. This game felt a little different. It may be the same in the end game, I guess, but we'll see, okay? If you guys want to see more of the Withering Waves content, let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios.